Welcome back. Where am I? Well, obviously, I'm in the middle of an ocean. With a swamp. And I've done a little bit of prep work. We are at the New Witch Farm. Hello. Um, so, as you can see, put up some redstone blocks. Those are going to be the borders of the spawning platforms. And then out here, we have the 128 block uh, perimeter. And I have slabbed that entire area up. And as you can see, it's mostly ocean. Oh, yeah. So, yep, mostly ocean. Um, yep, gotta fix that. Um, which is good because. You, you. Okay, there we go. Um, all we need to do is that. We need to go one, one block down into the water, and that will prevent any kind of spawns up here. Um, of course we are going to have to go below and torch up anything and also this, this time we are going to do a straight up JL2579 design where they drop 30 blocks and die. Uh, we're going to go for a high efficiency um, that way when people come here they're gonna have to AFK to get the items so might as well have it as high efficient er, as efficient as possible and yes that's some clay I have been digging up some clay I even dropped some clay off whether he's noticed it or not I don't know but we dropped some clay off with uh, Mr. Griffiths Um, and yes, it's silk touch. Apple just fell. Okay. Um, not exactly what I would normally be using, but it's uh, efficiency and I'm breaking, so that I do like. And it does make getting the clay easier. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, the uh, iron farm, very, very, very efficient. Um, wow. You know, I know that, that Zuma did that, and uh, by the way, yes, I mentioned this uh, in the UHC, but I, I don't care. I think somebody needs to do a real world test, not a, here's, you know, this test, because... I got a lot of apples in the swamp. A lot. And you just saw three fell off of this tree. That seems a little high to me. Anyway, um, so yeah. Gonna do working on this. Um, I think we'll cut it here. I've given you guys back-to-back uh, -back episodes of uh, time lapses, so I'm not gonna do another time lapse. Um, but I'm gonna get some stuff done, and I'll bring you back uh, when a little bit more is taken care of. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, guys. But ow. <laughs> when you find the chest, you will. Uh, so, yeah, I've uh, laid out some stuff here. Um, the uh, the wood, that's uh, where the legs uh, were. Uh, I haven't cleared them out yet. Um, going to... Uh, going to uh, leave... Oops the uh, stone brick in the middle 
and just the redstone here on the end for the lights. Um, uh, this is uh, the, the general layout of uh, what uh, the redstone needs to be on this side. Um, this took a lot. <laughs> um, had to uh, do all of this underwater. Uh, so then I did all of that and placed these pistons. Oh, pardon me. But uh, we need we need one row of comparators here. We need uh, comparators back here. Um, and then on the far side, we need three comparators on this side. One, two, three. Um, and then some comparators on the back. So I need a lot of uh, quartz. So we are going to go into the nether. And uh, we're going to have a little chitty chitty chat chat. Chitty chat. Chat chit. Yeah. So, okay. Um, my server spotlight. I said I was going to... Oh, by the way, this is uh, Suck Touch. Oh, let me turn them down. Okay. Um, so my server spotlight. Uh, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to do a server spotlight about a server. I haven't gotten permission from the server owner. Um, I did ask. Uh, they either didn't see my requests or they don't care. I don't know which, but um, overall, I'm not too concerned that I'm doing the spotlight without their permission. Um, so we need to kind of back up a little bit uh, why I'm doing this spotlight. Um, this particular server caters to a particular uh, a particular type of person. Um, and I'm going to be sharing uh, a good buddy of mine who, who's been promoting my, vi my videos on the Facebook and, and uh, some other places. Really appreciate that. Um, you know who you are. Uh, I want to thank you. Um, and I know his uh, family has... Uh, has some people that might be interested in this, and I'm going to ask him to promote that to his, his family members. Um, but anyway, uh, the particular uh, people uh, that the server is geared towards is uh, autistic kids. Um, and you're probably saying, uh, what the heck is that, Dev? Well, let me explain. Uh, and this is going to be the... Uh, we'll go with the... 10,000-foot uh, view. Go rent Rain Man. Watch Rain Man. Uh, and Dustin, Dustin Hoffman plays a really good autistic person in that movie. And uh, let me tell you. Uh, Tom Cruise there near the end he gets very frustrated uh, well not necessarily near the end but uh, he's very frustrated with how his brother acts and uh, people with uh, children who are autistic uh, they'll tell you that that's, that's exactly how they act um, it's not easy um, but one thing that uh, is kind of interesting is that uh, a lot of autistic kids like to play Minecraft. Um, it, uh, I'm not going to say that they're drawn to it, but it stimulates them uh, in a lot of different ways. It uh, keeps their mind active. They're able to focus on it. Um, and that can be an issue for some autistic children. Uh, being able to focus on things for any length of time. Um, 
but as a parent of an autistic child, uh, they don't always know right from wrong. Um, and that isn't necessarily interesting. Uh, lack of uh, teaching from guardians or parents, uh, that's just, they don't get it. Um, again, this is a really generalization of autism, so don't think that uh, my little 20-minute chat about it is going to give you all the information about autism, because uh, it's not. But uh, just letting, you know, your kids onto a server full of potential, you know, other players. Uh, we all know that uh, people are not nice on the internet. Um, and autistic children can't really see the difference between that uh, or, or get past that. And that can be uh, that can be pretty traumatizing to them. Um, and the uh, particular server that I'm going to be giving you some information about, the uh, gentleman that started it, he has an autistic child, and he realized, you know, there really isn't any uh, any place that these guys can go. So that's why he created the server that he ended up creating. Um, now it is for autistic children, uh, so uh, it's whitelisted. Um, it is heavily mod uh, moderated and uh, guarded um, with lots of uh, uh, add-ins to protect uh, everyone's builds and keep everybody safe um, and at the same time you know not uh, you know running around saying oh my god you know all my work was destroyed because somebody was mean and uh, yeah because you know we know that that's what people are going to do and some of these kids they would not be able to handle that. Um, and again, if you know anybody with autism uh, or on the spectrum, you will understand that. Uh, if you don't, you don't understand it. And uh, without, you know, having you meet somebody, uh, you might never understand it. Um, I'm okay with that, you know, it's not, it's not easy, um, and that's, uh, that's why I'm kind of glad that the guy did it, um, I just wish more people knew about it, uh, you know, um, we didn't know about it, I stumbled upon his videos, completely by accident um, I think what he's doing is great uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to figure out how to put uh, a link in uh, the video here and I'll do it right there right there dev right right there just put put the link right Look, all the other YouTubers do it. You can do it. Oh, for crying out loud. Fine. It'll be in the video description. All right. Um, the name of the server is Autcraft uh, for autism. Uh, I believe his catchphrase is replacing the ism with craft or something like that. Um, there's an application. Uh, to have the uh, autistic person get on. Um, again, 
heavily moderate, moderated, uh, heavily guarded. Um, they, uh, if they have problems, they try to get the parents involved uh, to make sure that you know nobody feels slighted. Um, and just it's they provide a nice safe place for these kids uh, to uh, have the same fun that you know everybody else is able to to have you know uh, several of us you know we're you know, trip and Griff uh, we pretty much became friends on fusion craft because people were griefing uh well they started out grief and trip and uh between griff trip and i we we didn't take that um uh, you know uh so we did what we could to uh put an end to it um cuz hey nobody likes bullies and that's basically what tr griefing is it's it's bullying um you know in a, in an basically stripped down version and uh none of us really like that and uh so you know we took matters into our own hand and uh dealt with it and that's how team v was created but uh all right so I think that's enough on that. Obviously, I cannot show you the server. Um, as while, well, most of my subscribers know, uh, we have four kids. And uh, uh, our son, um, he's 10. He, uh, he's on the spectrum. Um, and uh, being that I was able to monitor him on Fusion Craft and uh, deal with anything that might come up, uh, like somebody coming up to him invisible and attacking him, uh, yeah, that actually happened on Fusion Craft. And he pretty much had a meltdown uh, because, you know, he was like, I don't get why this is happening. Why, why am I taking damage? And the other kid thought it was funny. Um, and I had to explain to him, you know, this other individual thinks this is funny. He's like, well, I'm not having fun. And I'm like, I understand that. But he is. Does that make it right? No. I will do what I can. And what I could do was, uh, yeah. <laughs> At the time, I was a moderator, and uh, so I, uh, I uh, thored him to death. <laughs> then I chested up all his items and left him there, and I said, you're done. And uh, he thought it was funny because he was trying to uh, uh, put invisibility on me, and I was like, yeah, no, you're, you're done here. He was like, well, I was just having fun. Well, your idea of fun was, you know, and I didn't tell him that it was my son that was having a meltdown, um, but, you know, he, I just don't take to that, you know, whether it's my son or somebody else. Um, so, uh, in that situation, I was able to intervene because I was a moderator on Fusion Craft. You know, in another situation I might not be able to. But that's why you've got to be careful. Uh, you know. And that's why I'm glad that this guy has done this. But again, I think uh, and you think he needs to get to uh, it out there more. Now, maybe he is. I don't know. I, again, I'm not uh, following every bit that he does because we're not uh, signing our son up to be on the server. 
because he can be on here where I know everybody that's on here because I've whitelisted everybody. Um, so, all right. Uh, like I say, I really rambled on about that more than I probably should have. What the heck? Um, so that's my s latest server spotlight. And I will have a link to his page so that uh, if you know of anybody that has autism, uh, you can, uh, you know, help him out by showing them this, or at least showing them that, and hopefully uh, some of uh, my friend's family will see this video, uh, because I know that they, uh, I I've seen them post a lot about autism uh, on their Facebook, you know who you are if you, uh, you're watching this video. Um, we don't use names here, not real names, um, but, uh, all right, well, we're going to take this stuff back and we're going to see, no, that's not that much. I guess I'm going to be spending some more time in here and, uh, I will see you in a little bit when there's more to report. <laughs> on the witch farm. All right, thanks for watching.